Hi guys, it's me, Jorge. Hello. Welcome. I know it's been a minute since you've seen me. Probably a month now. I lost track. It's okay. Hi, it's me. Quick intermission. Uh, I read myself to filth by saying, oh, yeah, it's been a month now. Um, yeah, it's been a month. More like two. So, um... In this video, I'll be telling you guys what's been new in my life, what's changed, what's been going on, new things I've bought, new things I've tried, new things I'm working on, so yeah. Also, this video is going to be like kind of of a review, but a get ready with me, so a mix of both. So stay tuned, just keep on watching. It's 9 p.m. at night. Somehow, some way, I'm still like going. I don't know how, but yeah, I'm going. Okay, so I know it's been a while. It's been a minute. This is why we're gonna make this video a little chit chat. Get ready with me. So I'm actually gonna be doing my base on camera. I'm not going too much detail about my base and stuff. So that'll be a different video that I'll be uploading hopefully later, sometime soon. I will keep you updated for sure. But the main topic of this video is going to be, drumroll please, the new Beauty Bay X Nikki Tutorials collaboration. This is Nikki's new palette that she just came out with in collaboration with Beauty Bay. So if you guys know Nikki, she has not released a collaboration or collabs with a brand in a very, very long time for very specific reasons. If you don't know, it's fine. If you know, then you know. But she just finally released a new collaboration with Beauty Bay and I'm really excited because I've never tried any of Beauty Bay's shadows. So I've heard they're good, but I saw Nikki's video on the palette and they looked promising. I do know that some of the shades in here do not pick up the same on camera with the lights and everything versus in real life. According to Nikki, it's the green shade and the baby blue shade in the palette. So let's find out. So some of you might not believe me when I say that I'm actually opening this for the first time. And I would be lying. I did open it. I just wanted y'all to think like, oh my god, he waited. Nah, the moment I got this, I was like, I need to see it now. So if you guys haven't seen Nikki's video, this is how the palette looks. This is Temple Tutorials, okay? The makeup temple. How many times can I say temple in one video? We'll find out. But I really do love this packaging. It's really, really pretty. It's really, really detailed, especially on the dark side. It says makeup shamers with a middle finger, and I think that's like so cute because tea. But first impressions, Nikki, really, you killed it with the packaging. When I saw her video on it, I was like, oh my gosh, I want this. So sadly, if you didn't get this, it is limited edition. So it's not being sold again, which in a way is a good thing. So this way the people that did get it can share shit a little bit more or it's just let alone be like, I was part of that group and I am one of the few selected people that actually have it. I sadly did not get a signed copy because if it was signed, it would be right here. It's okay. I also didn't get a golden ticket. I'm not mad. Stop it. Get some help. I was so ready to get my hands on this and I had to. I was at work when I like had to take a little pause break and I was like, okay, I'm ordering this palette. I'm not going to miss it. I signed up for the waiting list. I got my email and I was like, bet. So I got this the moment it dropped. Did not hesitate. Funny story with the palette too. My friend, his name is Dallas, aka Dallas Amue. I'll leave it all right there. Shout out to him. He's a king. I love him. But I actually ordered it the same day as he did, obviously the launch day. And I got it first. And he was so pissed because... He paid for express shipping, I did not. And his took like over a week. <laughs> and he paid express. Just a little cute little story right there for you. And plug for my friend, because he's amazing and he's been helping me out anyway on TikTok. Which, by the way, if you're not following me on TikTok, uh, follow me on TikTok. Hello. I do transitions, I do makeup, I do trends. Some trends that I can keep up with because I'm really late to most of them all the time. But I still do them, which is more reason for you to follow me. Okay, period. All right, I'm gonna shut up and actually open the palette so you guys can actually see the inside. The Naked Tutorials Beauty Bay Collection looks like this. 
So as you can see, it's very two-sided. So there's the light side, there's the dark side, and then there's like the little middle ground kind of here. That's how Nikki explained it. So this is her like bright and happy side versus her dark, sultry side. Also, first impressions with the palette, the size of the pans are a lot bigger than I thought. I've never seen Beauty Bay pans, and these are pretty big. If you want to compare them to like your standard, I don't know, eyeshadow pans that are like that big. Yeah, this is pretty this is pretty decent there's a lot of product in here i will say on my monitor which t i got a monitor guys so i can actually see myself so if i look over yonder that's what i'm looking at so it's not as awkward anymore when i'm filming because i feel like i'm talking to somebody might be myself but it's still someone yeah on the monitor this shade right here looks really minty but it is green in real life i promise this one too plot twist looks white aka like more starky than anything but it, it is a really pretty baby blue two thousand years later but enough babbling let's get into the makeup so let's get started i'm gonna start out by grabbing my junior and co sponge so in true nikki tutorials fashion not to prime is a crime so we're gonna prime using our bobby brown vitamin rich face base i've already done my moisturizer wash my face i cream all the shebang so it's going in straight with this just get your sponge in there get a little bit and start pouncing away so how are you guys it's, I know it's been a minute and life has probably changed somewhat for some of you some jobs I know are opening back up for some people who have been like without a job or have gotten a new job a lot of my friends have gotten new jobs and a lot of my friends have also had their workplace open up again mine did so I'm back at work full-time working along with full-time I'm student and doing this don't ask me how I do it cuz I don't even know myself and it drives me crazy sometimes but you know it's fine okay now that we're done with that we're gonna go with two more primers cuz I'm that extra I actually prime three times so I use the Fenty Pro Filter Primer and the Tatcha liquid canvas I go with the Tatcha first and then the Fenty what are some of the jobs that you guys do I want to start a little trend down in the comment section so if you have a job what do you do like or even if you just go to school like what are you studying with where do you go to let you guys know and a little bit about me I am uh I hate admitting this, but I'm a super senior, so that means I've been over four years of college, which is fine. So anybody who is in college knows that typically four years is the range that you want to graduate in. Sadly, I did not make that, and that's okay. The whole point of college is to get your degree in something that you love that you want to do eventually in the future. So for me, my degree is physics with minors in mathematics and minor in philosophy. I know not your like I guess typical gay that's such a stereotype let me not say that but not your typical kind of major that anybody really wants to go to because physics is just that hard and trust me it is but I love physics I'm gonna go into my favorite foundation at the moment which is the long cone taunted Pont Pont Idol ultra wear I know a little bit of French clearly I can't pronounce stuff correctly which is fine but I'm gonna go into this I actually have this is shade 418, and I have a sample. <laughs> I had the bigger one, but I, I'm trying to give it the sample. This is 390, in the same same foundation, and I mix these together to actually get like my perfect match. Cause this one's a little bit too pink, and this one's just just right yellow, but they're both neutral. So I just mix them, gets me the perfect shade. Period. So I just place it on the palette and grab a brush, like a random brush. This is, this is a Morphe M250. This is a little liner brush, and just swirl it all together and mix it on there just like an art palette same thing you're mixing colors that's a color match if I ever did see one it doesn't look fully accurate but when we're done with everything it'll look perfect I promise so as I said earlier I did start work again and I started school recently so that means I haven't been able to upload and I truly apologize for that I already didn't really do a good job at uploading anyway so reading myself for that one, but I promise I have another video recorded already. I'm gonna record another one here soon. I have no clue when they'll all be up, but they'll be up soon, I promise. So we're ready for concealer. I'm gonna go into the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in shade 185. I have fallen in love with this concealer the moment I tried it I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna be using this every day which I have I have been revolving this one around with the 
The Wet n Wild one, I really also love this too. This is actually pretty full coverage, but it's also very, very brightening and it doesn't like move. So this is great. I love this. It's it's cheap too, so if you want to get a good concealer, Wet n Wild. And now grabbing our sponge, which is back and blend. While I'm blending, what are some of your guys' guys's guys guys? What are some of your guys' favorite products, like some products that you can't live without? Let me know because I want to try out new things and if something, if it's something that I haven't tried out yet, oh, bet I'm going to get it. My obsession is buying makeup even if I don't have the money. I make it work and I make sure that I have the money because I love makeup. Okay, so, so far, what do we think? Do we love it? I think it's looking pretty good. Now we need to bring a little bit more life into our face, so we're going to go into contour and bronzing so I'm gonna grab the Fenty Beauty matchstick in shade mocha and grabbing Fenty Beauty cream bronzer in shade honey glaze it looks a little bit warm this is a little bit more neutral so this is my contour this is my bronzer I'm not using a lot of this but I use creams first and then set it on with powder placing the contour in the hollows of my cheeks which I really don't have any but just underneath my cheekbone and on the bridge of my nose and on the side of my temples since I have a small forehead anyway I don't really need to like round her out I just need to like bring her forward yes so not just blending it out I've said it before but if you ever doubt it just blend blend some more don't be shy blend some more okay so now we have cheekbones now it's setting it with powder and we'll start taking over with the powder side of Basically, she's doing contour and highlighting, but with powder, but I'm setting the whole face. Even though it is matte, I'm still setting it. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Juvia's Place loose powder, setting powder, tapping off the excess, and using this to tap it underneath the eye and setting the under eye area very, very gently, because I don't want to fully press that powder in to where it looks cakey and it starts like clumping and stuff. That's what normally happens when you just pack on the powder. Believe it or not, you don't need that much powder. I know, contrary to popular belief, like on Instagram and TikTok, people just pressing powder underneath their eye and like baking and all that stuff, that's too much powder. You don't need that much powder. One, you're wasting powder. Two, you're just drying out your face. So that really doesn't help you. But yeah, I use the Juvia's Place powder because it feels lighter, very lightweight under my eyes. So I like using this one under my eyes. And then using the Fenty Beauty powder all over my face. When this low key has turned into a Fenty Beauty video. So yeah, Brianna, if you want another beauty boy up in that campaign or up in that Instagram, hit him up. So like I said, I don't really use a lot of powder. I do use more powder on my nose because that's where I mainly get oily, so obviously I want that place to stay. But everywhere else in my face, I just lightly tap it. So after I'm done with that, I just grab a little bit of like a fluffy kind of brush, just like the Sephora one that I got for like being a Rouge member, and I dust off any excess powder that I might have and just try to pat it in in the areas that I want it to be and all that jazz. After that, I just grab my setting spray. This is the Anastasia Dewy set with a little bit of shimmer and glitter in it and shake it up a little bit and spritz. Can't forget the fan. So now we're going to go in with contour. So grabbing the Nikita Dragon by Dragon Beauty. No, Dragon Beauty by Nikita Dragon. Face palette. We're going to be using Surge and Femme, so contour, bronzer. I like using this blush over here, baby girl, but I love this blush from Tarte. It's Party from the Amazon Clay formula. This is amazing. So if you haven't tried this formula, you need to. This, These are so good. Grabbing a little bit of a fluffy kind of tapered brush, dipping into the contour shade. So this is Surge and tapping off the excess. We're gonna place it right here where we placed the matchstick and slowly just blend out. Now grabbing a bigger, fluffy, kind of tapered, but rounder brush, we're gonna dip into Femme and use that as the bronzer to just, just diffuse the contour a little bit. I'm now gonna go into blush, so grabbing that Amazon, oh, 
Hello. So grabbing that Amazon shade from Tarte, dip in there and tapping off the excess, blend it into the contour, but not too high to where you're gonna get rid of the highlight point of your face. I always still wanna be able to bring out content for you guys, so if that means it's gonna be a little bit delayed, I'd rather it be delayed than put out like bam, bam, bam a look and that doesn't look good. So that's why I wanna put more quality over quantity, hence why I have a schedule kind of to when I post. I try to keep to it on Instagram, which you want, if you aren't following me, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, like I said earlier, because you're missing out on great content, I promise. So now we're gonna start with the eyes, but so you guys remember, this is the palette we're gonna be using, this Nikki. Before I use it, make sure you're subscribed, hit turn on the bell notification, and hit that like button because it helps me so, so, so much. By looking at this palette, I'm really, really drawn to this upper corner kind of deal moment. I don't really know what I want to do. So what I think I'm going to do is a cut crease, typical, but doing like this shade and this shade and here like the upper corner and a corner and blending with these two blending it out and putting this red shade right here in the outer corner that's a look and then I guess we can do one of these shimmers maybe this shimmer ivy so with every eye look I like to prime my eyes so obviously giving every shadow a fair chance I use the P. Louise base this is base 2 shade 2 I also have base 0 but we're not gonna need that shade so going to base 2 just priming our eye Patting it all over the lid and blending it. So grabbing my brushes, choosing a very trusted brush that's somewhat like a pencil, little tiny brown round brush. We're gonna go start off with shade flaw. We're gonna put it right there up in the tight corner by the closer to the brow, but not all the way down to the inner corner, and then blend it outwards. So dipping into Vla. Also, before I do that, I want to say that I I agree with Nikki. Firmly believe 100% that swatches on hand or on finger really don't give shadows justice. Just because you swatch it and might look good on your hand doesn't mean it'll look good on your eyes. And just because it doesn't look good on your hand doesn't mean it won't look good on your eyes. So just grabbing that shade, packing it on there. Something to keep in mind with like lighter colors, you want to be able to pack it on first to get the most that you can on there and then start slowly, lightly blending. So you still get the pigment, but the blended effect. Grabbing a Morphe M506, we're gonna dip into the shade Blend and Snap and put that right next to the yellow, Vla, and blend it together. Making a little like pink, oh my gosh. So after you have both Vla and Blend and Snap blended together, that's good. We're gonna grab a different brush. I'm probably gonna grab the exact same brush to an M506. I have like three of these. So now using the shade Redemption, we're gonna dip in there, put in the shade right here at the end of Blend and Snap, and try to blend into a shape of a wing, but then bring it back in to the outer corner. All right, so now using a different brush, more of a fluffier, rounder brush. This is the Morphe X Coca Cola, it doesn't really have a number, but just a more rounder brush. We're gonna be dipping into the shade Mikai. Got up like Rolti, this shade. It's so good. And I normally don't like working with reds. I don't really like reds. It's not my not my favorite color uh, because I don't think it looks the greatest on me. But this red is actually really, really pretty. And it's blending so beautifully into Blend and Snap and Redemption. That's why I chose to put those there because pink and orange are just a product of red. So it's going to blend really easily with them. Hashtag color wheel. Before we cut the crease, let's do the under eye. So grabbing 
a different brush. This is another Morphe brush from the Pride collection. I'm gonna dip into, I'm gonna dip into London Snap, put that right here, and then go in with another brush, dipping into Vla, and doing the inner corner. Grabbing Blending Snap on the brush, we're gonna blend it right here underneath the eye, patting it, and slowly, slowly blending. Grabbing that same brush, but a clean version of it, because I have two. We're gonna dip into Vla, grabbing Vla on the brush, and then just patting it right here, still underneath the lash line, but closer to the inner corner. But we're gonna go in with the P. Louise Space to cut the crease, and then set it with IV. Whoa, 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 whoa. So now that we have the crease cut, we're gonna grab a packing brush, kind of, but this is the Morphe M124. So we're gonna grab a little bit of Roxy Cat Tan. Cat, cat, I'm butchering this. I'm sorry, Nikki, so sorry. But I'm gonna grab this shade right here and then pat it onto the lid. So in the pan, it looks really buttery, like really smooth. Okay, so there's, it's on the brush now, but like it wasn't going on the brush and I was like kind of concerned. Okay, yeah, that's no with the brush. So we're gonna use our fingers, dipping into the same shade with our finger. Ooh, that's why, look at that. That is so good. Okay, that's why. Um, period, what? Hold on, let me look at the card. It came with a card and it says I can use it either with a brush or with my finger. So, use it with your finger because I don't know what was going on with that brush. It just was not having it. Now grabbing a little pencil brush, we're gonna dip into that shade IV up here and hopefully it gets picked up on the brush. If not, we're gonna use our finger again. What is wrong with these brushes? <laughs> we're gonna go with the pinky and we're gonna pat it into the inner corner. Do y'all see this? Oh my gosh, like, if that's not an inner corner highlight, I don't know what is. So, I want to say this is one i done with everything, all the shadow and everything. So, I'm going to do the other eye of camera, add some lashes, and do some lipstick, and then we'll be right back. And we're back. As you can see, the lashes are on, lips are on, the whole look is pretty much done. I have nothing else to add. I already did highlight or two. I did the Juvia's Place. Uh, I did the Juvia's Place Tribe Volume 3 highlighter. This is like my tried and true. As you guys can see, she's a little bit abused. It's because I love her so much. So, um, if the glow doesn't speak for itself, why don't you have this? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little chit chat get ready with me and like the review Well somewhat of review first impressions of the Nikki tutorials X Beauty Bay collection aka just the palette I really do love this palette, and I think I will be using it a lot There's a lot of colors in here that I really do love especially this yellow It's yellow is my weakness yellows and blues are my weakness So I'll be using those I will say that I did struggle a little bit with the shimmer right here uh, using a brush, but when I used my finger, it was perfectly fine, so it's not that big of a deal, but still worked beautifully, great payoff, great pigment all around, really good formula, so if you didn't get this, I'm sorry, it is sold out, but if you did get this, oh my gosh, you need to start playing with it immediately. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed, have liked the video, bell notifications on, and follow me on all my socials, that will be at the end of the video, and also they'll be in the description down below. Uh, I really did miss you guys, and I love you guys so much. I promise you there's a lot coming, I just have to balance my time a little bit better. I am still learning with that, but we learn as we grow, so yeah. Subscribing is free, so if you want to subscribe, you can also do that, but I would prefer if you stay. I, I blabble too much, I talk too much, so love you guys, see you guys in the next one, and peace out. Okay, that's a good, good solid intro, yeah, 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 yeah. So since this, so, so since, why double S words so hard to say? So since this, Snake, Sibley snakes have moved like a snake. 
move like a snake. I'm a snake. Mm -mm. So, the Beauty Bay X Naked Toy Collection palette looks like this. Oh, sh. I'd be the one to almost drop it and then break, and I haven't even used it. <sighs> breathe. Please breathe. You need to. <laughs>